Hey there family and friends, I'm going to make another video for you and this time I'm going to show you my apartment. So the door that I just walked in is a door that comes in from the studio and the radio station part of this building. On the other side of that door there's just a small entryway and then beyond that is the actual studio and there's another room with the transmitters and hopefully I'll take the time to show you that in another video. But that's where that door goes. This door over here actually goes directly to the outside so I have two different ways of getting into my apartment and a lot of times I use this door because uh, there's another door to the outside over in this entryway and it's just a little bit more centrally located and what's great about this is I can just go directly over to the studio and sometimes in the evenings if a, one of our volunteer workers doesn't show up and I'm left with the responsibility of the studio I don't necessarily sit in the studio all evening I'll sit in here with the radio on and if there's a problem I can be over there so quickly or when news time comes around I'll just run right over there you probably recognize this over here from some of the previous videos. This is my office, uh, my iMac computer, and I sit there and I do all sorts of things at that computer. I uh, edit videos there. I study for my Bible studies there. Uh, I record my local news there. You see my microphone and a, a headset there. Also, back here are my speakers that are connected to the radio. That's where I'm listening to the radio all the time. Um, it's off right now just for the sake of this video, but that's on almost all the time so I can be monitoring, making sure there's no problem. Even if we have a volunteer worker who's taking care of the studio, I still like to monitor just to make sure that there's nothing, uh, the, there's no problems with the studio. Also, I didn't point out, I have a small, you may not be able to see in this video, but a small audio mixer right there that I use for recording my news. Again, I've talked about news and going to Congress and things a lot in some of my videos and, and uh, posts on Facebook and things. Hopefully, uh, that's another topic that I'm going to cover in a future video explaining exactly why we do all of that here at the station. Over here is a small couch, uh, and uh, that's where I usually sit at my devotions. My Bible and everything is right there. And so that's kind of this half of uh, the room. I'm going to move the camera to about right where I'm standing and turn it to face the other direction, and you'll get to see the other half of this main room. Okay, this is the other half of this main room of my apartment. As you can see, here's the door that I pointed out earlier that leads to the outside, and the camera is currently sitting by the door that I walked in at the beginning of this video that leads over to the studio. Here's just a large cabinet for some miscellaneous um, food items and so forth. These blue containers that you see here are filled with drinking water. We go down into town and we have them filled. It's really inexpensive. And though the water here that comes out of the faucet is not necessarily super dangerous, it's just not really the best option. So we always get water in these containers and use that for all of our drinking water. A little table here. Uh, currently I eat uh, mo both lunch and supper upstairs with Mrs. Arthur's and I'll eat breakfast usually down here, usually a banana and a bowl of cereal. Um, just kind of an interesting note, there's over 80 different varieties of bananas on this island, so there's never any shortage of bananas to eat. This fan you'll notice is my biggest friend. Um, there is an air conditioner up there, but because of the cost of electricity and because uh, Ruth Ann is still paying for the electricity, I try to use that at a very minimum. In fact, I have not even turned that on since I've been back on this particular trip. However, there are certain days when it gets super, super hot. It just gets unbearable in here, and you do have to turn it on. However, just about any time that I'm in this apartment, I move this fan to wherever I'm at and have it blowing directly on me, and that helps keep it bearable most of the time. Right now, it's off just so it's not making a great ruckus in this video, and it's starting to get very, very warm. Right now, I just use a small refrigerator to keep some water cold, keep some butter, some different things in there. All right, I'm going to move the camera once again and show you some more of the apartment. Okay, right now the camera's sitting on top of that kitchen table that I just showed you. You can see the small refrigerator over there, the air conditioner, and these blue water containers. And here's just a small area of kitchen. Again, right now I'm eating most of, most of my meals upstairs, but in a few weeks I will be doing a little bit more on my own. Just a small stove there and the sinks there. And then this is the hallway that leads back. This is my bedroom over here and the bathroom over on this side and I'll get the camera right now and I'll show you both of those. Okay, because the bathroom is pretty small, I'm not actually going to try to stand in there as I show you this. Um, it's just a small bathroom, it's a sink and a toilet and a shower, not very much exciting in there. Okay, once, once again my bedroom is a little bit too small to really get in and show you the whole thing at one time, so I'm just going to walk around with the camera here a little bit. I just walked in the door and over in this uh, corner here is my closet with hanging clothes, also some storage space. 
right now it's filled with some suitcases and old uh, equipment for the radio station so basically all I have in there is my hanging clothes of course I have a dresser right there the bed and then all around um, these other two sides I have these shelves and you'll notice there's some decorations and things on there that Ruth Ann has put there over the years but then there's also um, a lot of my electronic equipment cameras tripods audio equipment that I store there uh, to keep uh, everything somewhat organized on those shelves okay so that's just kind of a brief tour of my apartment I know it's a little bit hard to kind of get the perspective of, of where everything is on the video but I hope that kind of helped you get a little bit of an idea and I hope you enjoyed this video let me mention that I have some more ideas of some videos that are going to be coming up but if you have a question that you want answered or you have a video you think I should do something you'd like me to cover just go ahead and let me know that if you're watching this on YouTube you can leave me a comment if you're watching it on Facebook that means you're probably my friend you can go ahead and send me a Facebook message and tell me what kind of video you might want me to cover as always let me leave you with a few prayer requests uh, pray for uh, Mrs. Arthurs she's going to be leaving sometime here at the end of September or very early October to travel back to the States where she's going to hold a memorial service for Dave so pray for her as she makes those kinds of plans she also has some um, different paperwork and legal things that she needs to be taken care of in the next few weeks and months. So please continue to pray for her. I would ask that you pray for me this last Wednesday. Uh, we started our English Bible study back up, which I'm teaching, and I need a lot of wisdom and guidance from God as I begin to study, and I think we're going to be starting a series, hopefully, here in the next few weeks on the attributes of God. So if you'd pray for me about that, I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, remember to pray for Ponape.